Hello everybody, welcome back! Tom Holland's Spider-Man has captured the hearts of Marvel fans since the first introduction of his character in the MCU. Peter Parker is young, funny, and smart. He has a lot of awesome suits and, of course, he's always ready to give a helping hand. And it doesn't matter whether it's necessary to stop criminals in the local bank or get into the spaceship to defeat a big purple villain. And today, we'd like to recollect his best moments in different MCU movies. So, make yourself comfortable and enjoy our video! Spider-Man, played by Tom Holland, appeared in the MCU during the airport battle in Civil War. Under ruse! During the battle between Stark's and Cap's teams, Spider-Man faced such serious opponents as Falcon and Winter Soldier. He managed to stop Bucky's punch. You have a metal arm? That is awesome, dude! Also, Spidey irritated Falcon with his endless comments. Besides, Spider-Man faced Captain America. Steve was impressed by Peter's strength, but Spidey didn't have enough experience and combat skills to beat Cap. Thus, Captain America managed to trap Spidey by damaging the support beams of a platform over Peter Parker. Where are you from? Queens. Brooklyn. Finally, Spider-Man, together with Iron Man and War Machine, managed to take down giant Ant-Man using a trick from Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. During the trip to Washington, Peter's friends got trapped in the falling elevator. Fortunately, Peter happened to be there. He climbed the top of the Washington Monument, ignored the policeman's warnings, and entered the monument after jumping over the helicopter blades using his wings. Spidey swung back towards one of the windows and broke through it. He got inside just in time to stop the falling elevator with his web shooters. Yes! Yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sir. So sorry. As a true hero, he saved his friends and caught Liz Toomes. At the same time, Flash Thompson wanted to ask the superhero one extremely important question. Are you really friends with Peter Parker? When Spider-Man got on board the Staten Island Ferry, he had to fight against Vulture and his men. Unluckily, the weapon made with Chitauri Technologies exploded, cutting the ferry in half. Spider-Man made a desperate attempt to save the people on the ship. He used his web to hold the two parts of the ship together. Nonetheless, the ferry was sinking despite all his efforts. Being in complete desperation, Peter made an attempt to hold both halves of the ship. This scene is similar to the one with Tobey Maguire's character and the train shown in the Spider-Man 2 movie. Obviously, the superhero didn't have enough strength to stop the catastrophe, but fortunately, Iron Man came to help Spidey. Hi, Spider-Man. After the rescue of the ferry, Peter and Tony had a serious private talk, and Stark took his Spider-Man suit away from Parker. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it, okay? Gotta sound like my dad. When Vulture managed to bring down the building to trap Spider-Man, he left Peter dying underneath the rubble. That decisive moment tested Parker because he was alone and without Stark's suit. Hello? But as soon as Peter noticed his old Spider-Man mask, he recollected Tony's words. They motivated Parker and he managed to push the rubble off using all his powers. Come on, Spider-Man. Come on, Spider-Man. Come on, Spider-Man. This scene shows that Spider-Man doesn't have only physical strength, but also a strong spirit. Plus, do you know that this moment is taken directly from the pages of iconic Amazing Spider-Man number 33? The final battle between Vulture and Spider-Man is full of thrilling moments. Peter had not only to defeat the villain, but also to save New York City from the falling plane. Although Peter succeeded, the plane still crashed, and Spider-Man had to fight against Vulture at Coney Island. During the duel, Vulture managed to take the upper hand, but he ignored Peter's warning that his wings would explode due to the radiation. And when Vulture's suit was destroyed, 
Parker saved his enemy from fire, proving that he is a real superhero. During the events of the Infinity War, Iron Man provided Parker with a new Iron Spider suit to protect Peter from death in the high-level atmosphere. Mr. Stark, it smells like a new car in here! Also, Stark ordered Friday to take his young friend back on the Earth, but Spidey managed to enter the Q-ship. After that, inspired by the Aliens movie, Spider-Man offered Iron Man a way to defeat Ebony Maw and rescue Doctor Strange. Due to an awesome plan, our superheroes killed the enemy and started their journey to Titan. Plus, Tony officially declared Parker as a member of the Avengers team. Are you kidding? You're an Avenger now. Spider-Man also took part in the final battle with Thanos in the Avengers Endgame movie. With the help of the portal, Spidey joined other superheroes. Besides, he finally reunited with Tony Stark and was surprised by Iron Man's hugs. Oh, this is nice. In addition, Parker helped to protect the Nano Gauntlet as well as demonstrated the awesome feature of his new suit, Instant Kill Mode. Activate Instant Kill! Mysterio is a master of illusions, and he used all his technologies to defeat Peter Parker. During the illusion scene, the villain was using Spider-Man's weak points, such as MJ and Tony Stark, to confuse the superhero. If you were good enough, maybe Tony would still be alive. He also used a trick to discover the names of the people who knew about Mysterio's lie. This is a really crazy scene, full of mind-blowing moments created with the help of awesome CGI effects. When Peter needed a new suit, Happy was glad to provide him with Stark's technologies. Yeah, I need a suit. Suit? Parker showed great ingenuity while he was trying to design his new armor with the necessary weapons and features. Plus, it's impossible not to spot the similarity between Peter and Stark shown in this scene. What? Nothing. You take care of the suit, I'll take care of the music. During the last fight with Mysterio, Peter had to deal with a big group of drones and their illusions, but Parker considered his previous experience, closed his eyes, and totally relied on his Peter Tingle. Come on, Peter Tingle. Spider-Man's plan worked out incredibly well, and we saw a thrilling scene which demonstrated the power of the Spider-Sense. Also, we'd like to admit an awesome moment in which Peter grabbed Mysterio's wrist with the gun even without looking at him. You can't trick me anymore. It's certainly one of the most badass Spider-Man scenes in the MCU. And which scene is your favorite one? Please, don't forget to share your thoughts with us in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give us a like, comment, and subscribe for more Marvel updates.